In the reptile kingdom, <laughs> iguanas are king. But the big question is, do they have... I'm sorry, it's... sir. Are you are you lost? No, Trevor. Wait, it's me, Trevor. It's me, Papa. No, <laughs> no. It's me, John. It's me, John. John oh, Stewart. It's John Stewart, oh, everybody. Oh, 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 oh yes, it is. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, it's John Stewart. Oh. This is, this is awesome. Oh man, this is, this is crazy. Oh wait, 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 wait. Are you here to take the show back? What? Oh man, I heard about this in American TV. Are you no, taking the show back? That's not a thousand. Trust me, trust me. A thousand times no. <laughs> I actually have this issue. Uh, uh, I care about it very deeply and I was wondering, you know, I want to get some attention paid to it, but I, I was realizing that I don't have a show <laughs> and, and nobody gives a anymore. So I thought, D -d -d you have a show and maybe I could come and... Hey, I'm here for you, John. <laughs> I'm here for you. My show is your show, my friend. Oh! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming to you, all right? All right. Um, what do you need? All right, let me just... Oh, uh, no, 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 uh, uh, after far more lobbying than should have ever been necessary, Congress passed what was called the Zadroga Act, uh, funded health care for 9-11 first responders who'd gotten sick working at Ground Zero after, <laughs> funny story, uh, the government <laughs> told them that the air was safe, but it, it gave them cancer. Yeah. So you're here to celebrate the anniversary. Well, that, no, no. Uh, <laughs> they actually only funded the Zadroga Act five years. They said they wanted to make sure that the program uh, uh, wouldn't have people that tried to cheat it and that you could scientifically prove a link between the... The, the responders' horrible diseases and the toxic air that they were breathing day in and day out working at, at Ground Zero. I see, and you're here because they couldn't prove the link. Well, they actually, no, they, they proved the link. I they see, proved. but there was a lot of fraud. There was no fraud. There was no fraud. <laughs> so no reason to not renew it permanently? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> there was no reason not to renew it permanently, but they did not renew it anyway. It expired in September. It's soon gonna be out of money. These first responders, many sick with cancers and pulmonary disease, have had to travel at their own expense to Washington, D.C. hundreds of times to plead for our government to do the right thing. Plead. Oh, I see. So you're here to tell us that once Congress saw the first responders, obviously their renewed uh, vigor came in and they renewed the health care funding and they made it permanent. That's what you're saying, right? <laughs> You're not from around here. <laughs> they have not done that. But that doesn't make sense, John Stewart. I know! <laughs> the only conclusion that I can draw is that the people of Congress are not as good a people as the people who are first responders. Oh, well, John, uh, <laughs> that's the only... Wow. Uh, I don't I know. That's what I think. I don't know, John. You, you can't say that, because how would you know? The last week, I had the distinct honor of accompanying some of these heroes on one of their many trips down to the Capitol to see how in God's name this is in any way a controversial or non-priority issue. It's easy to take our democracy for granted, but to be in Washington and see it firsthand is truly humbling. I'm here in the Senate building, the Russell building, to witness the majesty of our nation's legislative process, the beauty, the intelligence, the compassion. I'm just with you. We're here to, to see if shame works. Shame. An emotion one might experience if, say, you were a senator who tweeted after 9-11, we will never forget our heroes, but forgot them by not signing on to this bill. Uh, we decided to pay those senators a visit and deliver their shame. We're just gonna stop by Rand Paul's office real quick. The boss in? Uh, I don't know if he's in right now. I think there may be a briefing. Hello. Hey, we were wondering if, if Senator Johnson is home. 
Um, I'm not sure. You might go anytime. Oh, okay. Trick or treat. Anybody uh, that we could speak to about the 9 11 uh, responders bill that Senator Portman has yet to uh, support? Is there, is there someone who it would be appropriate to uh, be upset with? Yes, sir. I'd be happy to check for you if you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, who can I give this to? We can try to arrange. Appreciate it, John. Uh, oh, oh. Who can I follow up with? Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, so actually, we can't do any recording inside the office. If we could step out oh, right. here. Oh, okay. We can record out in the hallway? Why is that that you can't record in, a, in the office? Is it acoustics? I believe he's at a committee meeting right now. The problem is the bill has been taken out of the transportation bill, and now we're, we're lost again. Mm -hmm. And uh, these guys are all dying. So we would like to stop that. No, I totally understand. You don't want it in the shame chamber. You want it in the shame hallway. Here, here's my card. If I can give it to the producer. Sure. We would love to set up off the note camera. Uh, very rarely do the, the people appear. They're, they're like, in many ways, meerkats or prairie dogs. And they lift their heads up. But if they sense uh, danger, something coming with the information they don't like, boom, right back into the hole. If, if we need to wait here until he's ready, I'm, I'm happy to do that. I, okay. I really, I, I don't know if you know this, I don't really have a life anymore. We're around, I'm, I'm unemployed now, so I'm, I'm really available all day. Okay. Like and I mine. have your card, so I'll get that to our scheduler as well. I did not know the Wisconsin was known for cranberries. Number one producer of cranberries, actually, in the States. So, really? yeah. Uh, of course, some people were able to get meetings. Renew Energy Group, how are you? How are you? Good, good. Renew Energy. Yep. All right. I'll see you guys. What are you guys having a, having a meeting? Passing the Zadroga Act seems like a no-brainer. Let me ask you a question. Uh, all right. Let, let's say there was a monster under your bed, all right? Or in your closet. And uh, you were scared of the monster. And, and, and people came in, very helpful people, first responders to the monster situation. And they helped uh, get rid of the monster, clean up after the monster for months. But they ended up, because of they got monster juice on them, got sick. Would you help uh, those people? Yes. No. But hold on one second. No? You would be a good congressperson. Would you guys take care of the people? Yeah. It seems obvious. So what I would say is, this is our Senator McConnell. You'd be Senator McConnell in this. And you would be uh, normal human people. You know what? Thank you guys for listening. What time is snack? Is it soon? We finally caught up with Senator Rob Portman on his way from voting to make sure people on the terrorist watch list could still buy guns. I, as I said, we'll. We'll, we'll let Thank folks you. know, as I have already, that I support it. The question is, let's find a way to pay for it. You guys, when you guys want to find money, and you know, you can find money. So that pay for stuff really just it doesn't reach, it's not passing the litmus test with me. I'm sorry, at all. That night, Senator Portman of Ohio signed on to the bill. So maybe shame does work. But if it doesn't, maybe we should all just follow around Mitch McConnell, making this face at him.